less than 37 areas of combined polygons. As a review, polygons are just multi-sided multi shapes, but they also have to be closed and they have to be have straight lines. Here are some, some shapes of they're not all polygons, but some, some shapes and their, their areas, their formulas are how to find the area. So we got squares, we got rectangles, and we got triangles and circles. And you can see their formulas there. We're going to make use of those today to solve some of these polygons. The only one we're not going to worry about, we're not going to worry about the circles because those aren't, those aren't polygons. So the first one, find the area of this figure. And so, here, so you have two shapes here, and so we can find the area of a rectangle, and we can find the area of the, of the triangle right there. And so if we, if we look at this one, we would say that this is 6 times 4, so 6 times 4 gives us 24 square centimeters, and then the triangle, we know the height is 4. If this top part is 6, this has to be 2 because the whole thing is 8. So it would be 4 times 2 divided by 2. So a half of 8 is 4 square centimeters. So I'm going to take my 24 plus my 4. That would give me an area of 28 square centimeters. And next one. Over here to the right, just going to draw our triangle here. So we have our two shapes. But down on the bottom, the rectangle, I have 6 times 12, which would give us 72. So I have 72 square feet. And then if this whole bottom is 6 or 12, and this part is 8 right here, this has to be 4. And if this part is 10, or this whole thing was 10, this part and this part is 6. So if this is 6, this has to be 4. So 4 times 4 is 16. Divided by 2 gives you 8. So I'm going to add 8 square feet to it. You would end up with 80 square feet as the area of that figure. Next, use the calculator to estimate the area of this lot. So the, for rounding these numbers, we're going to draw our triangles. So we have 60 times 100. 60 times 100 would be 6,000. So we got 6,000 here. And then we have hundred times we don't know exactly how far this is going to be we know this is 60 but we don't know what this part is we can use the Pythagorean theorem to figure that out but this is a hundred so we got a hundred squared plus B squared s equal 110 squared so if we took our calculator we got 110 squared, which is 120, 12,100, and we subtract 100 squared, that would give us b squared equaling 2100, and then we find the square roots of 2100, that would give us 45.8. So we can round that to 46, so this would be about 46, and we would take 46 times 100 equals 4600 divided by 2 gives us 2300. So we're going to add 2300 to this. We would have an estimated area of 8300 square feet. Next one, let's estimate this, this lot here. So 
So this one's very similar to the last one. The only difference is this is 70 instead of 60. So we will do this, do the same thing with what we just did. So 100 times 70, this is 7,000 or 70,000. Not 7,000, 7,000. 7,000 feet, so we got 7,000 feet, or square feet. And then over here, this would be the same thing, so this is about 46. And so we found that before, that 46 times 100 was 4,600 divided by 2 is 2,300, so add 2,300 square feet to that, that would give us about 9,300 square feet. And problem three, in the figure, AD is 40 centimeters. So let's mark that down. AD, this whole thing, is 40 centimeters. And it says that DC is 30. Point B is the midpoint of AC. So this is the, B is the halfway point. So this is half of what AC is. And point E, point E right here is the halfway point of AD. So that means, that means if this whole thing is 40, this has to be 20, and this is 20. Find the perimeter of an area of the quadrilateral BCDD. We need to find the area of B down to C to D to E. So we need to find the area of that shape. And so I'm going to draw a triangle here so I can draw put these together so let's figure out what we what we do know we know that this part right here this is 20 we can find out what AC is by using the Pythagorean theorem of the big triangle so we have 40 squared plus 30 squared has to equal C squared, so A to C, so this is 1,600 plus 900, so 1,600 plus 900 gives us 2,500, is what C squared is, find the square root of both sides, square root of 2,500 is 50, so it's AC is 50, this is 25, this is 25. The only part that we don't know yet is this piece right here. And we can set up proportions. The long side of the big triangle, so this whole piece right here is 40. And the small triangle, that piece is 20. The same as the big triangle, the base is 30. We want to find the base here, which we'll just call as x. And we would just cross multiply. 20 times 30 is 600 divided by 40. x would have to equal 15. So this would be 15. So now to find the uh, perimeter first we have so p equals we have two groups of 15 plus two groups of 20 that will give us 30 plus 40 which is 70 and then we have this we have two more sides here we have Actually, I got that wrong. We 
because we don't have a rectangle, we have we have a trapezoid. So we got 15 plus the 25 plus the 30 plus the 20. So 15 plus 25 plus 30 plus 20. That would give us a perimeter of 90 centimeters. And then to find the area, this would be 15 times 20. 15 times 20 gives us 300. And then we're going to add, this is 20 times, this also has to be 15 because the top part is 15 and this whole bottom is 30. We could find out the so 15 times 20 is 300 divided by 2 gives us 150. So we're going to add 150 here. So it'll give us an area of 450 square centimeters. And we have one more problem. Find the area of the shaded region by subtracting the area of the smaller triangle from the area of the larger triangle. Dimensions are in centimeters. So let's find the area of the big triangle. So this is 40 times 80 because this bottom is 80. So 40 times 80 gives us 3200 divided by 2 gives us 1600. That's the area of the big triangle. The area of the small triangle, which would be 20 times 40, gives us 800 divided by 2, gives us an answer of 400. So I take my 1600 minus my 400, and I get 1200 square centimeters. So there's our, our lesson on finding area and perimeter of polygons.